please rise for the processional. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets ring, the rockets rang, the bombs burst, and the bombs burst in gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? Thank you. Please be seated. Well, let me be the first to congratulate you for this incredible achievement. We are excited to be with you this morning to celebrate with you your graduation day. The scripture reveals in uh, Philippians chapter 2 some truths that we have integrated through the GCU experience while you've made your way through your academic program. It says this in uh, Philippians 2, So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of of others. Would you pray with me? God, thank you for this morning. Thank you for these that sit before me that have worked so hard to be in this place today. We pray that you would be honored by the way that we care for others 
and how we live out this passage of Scripture uh, in our lives from this point on. God, I pray that you would bless our celebration today, for we ask it in Jesus' name and for his sake we pray. Amen. Would you turn your attention to the screen for a short video about your time at GCU? Faculty, staff, family, friends, graduates, welcome to the 2022 Spring GCU Graduation Celebration. We're starting off a little slow this morning compared to last night, so I'm going to ask everybody in the crowd to please get up and congratulate the 2022 graduating class. Thank you, thank you. Now we got some life in the building, thank you. I have to tell you, this is a second of 11 graduations and the management team came to me and said, we, got, we have some issues with regards to 11, grad, 11 ceremonies. How should we order them? The numbers out aren't coming out right. Uh, usually we do these graduations by college, but you might notice that almost every single dean is up here today. Uh, which means all colleges are represented in this ceremony. And you're probably asking yourself why we did it this way. I said, to make the numbers come out right, let's do something very different. Let's select for Friday morning the very best students from each college. And so that's why you're here this morning. The script is a little different this afternoon. <laughs> but congratulations. I want to thank you for three things. One, uh, the academic work that you produced while you were here. Um, we're so proud of what's going on in our nine colleges and all academic areas, but we're especially proud of the academic work that you're producing. We now have 20 advisory boards. Over 500 companies are represented those on, on those advisory boards because people want access to our graduates, to you. And so for the academic work that you produced while you were here, which was excellent, thank you very much. Secondly, I want to thank you for the culture that you build on our campus. Um, we uh, have, this culture has developed over the course of the last 14 years and it's kind of reaching an apex now. I want to thank you for your loyalty to chapel on Monday mornings, to, to the gathering on Tuesday evenings, to the Bible studies in the campus, uh, throughout the campus. Uh, during the week um, and, and for the kindness and caring 
that has become a hallmark of the university's culture uh, driven by our students. And so I want to thank you for, for that. And thirdly, you know, we live in a, a, a really, really interesting place here at GCU. You spent three or four years here. Um, we have 45 different languages that get spoke within four or five miles of um, this place. It's a neighborhood of immigrants. There's a lot of need. But you have poured in during your time here and really helped move this neighborhood forward. Everything from our tutoring program to our scholarship program for inner city kids to the Habitat for Humanity program, which has housing values going up, to the safety program, uh, to many of the outreach programs involving refugees. Uh, it's become a big part of who GCU is, and your contributions in that uh, area have really helped build the culture. Um, we did things a little backwards. Usually you write a mission statement and you try to then live to that mission statement. Uh, over the last 14 years, this culture has kind of emerged as God has had his hand on this place and is actively working here. So what we did was we came up with a new mission statement that we thought reflected what you've helped us build here. Uh, and I want to share that with you this morning. And so just if you take a look at the screen, um, this is something that we've come up with. And usually you are presenting to faculty members, hoping that your faculty members will give you a good grade. I am now presenting to you, hoping that you will give me a good grade. So this is what we've come up with. GCU is a missional, Christ-centered university with an innovative and adaptive spirit that addresses the world's deep needs by cultivating compassionate Christian community, empowering free and virtuous action, and serving others in ways that promote human flourishing. Through academic excellence, the university equips students with knowledge of the Christian worldview, instilling in them a sense of purpose and vocational calling that enables them to be innovative thinkers, effective communicators, global contributors, and especially transformative leaders who change their communities by placing the interests of others before their own. Good. Thank you. I was nervous there for a second. I will take that as a B plus, maybe an A minus. Thank you for helping us do that. And with that, now on behalf of the Colangelo College of Business, it is my pleasure to introduce you to your 2022 student speaker, Cassidy Alexander. <laughs> Cassidy will be graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Finance degree. Please give her a warm welcome. Hi there. I want you to picture one of your happiest moments with your closest friends over the past four years. One of mine is looking over the actual Grand Canyon at sunrise with beautiful colors painting the sky. This is something I only imagined ever seeing in heaven. A blanket wrapped around me at five in the morning, surrounded by my closest friends after a long drive in the middle of the night. These are the types of memories I wouldn't have without GCU. While our school isn't literally in the Grand Canyon, as some of you may have noticed, I've gotten to view this stunning sight a few times, and it's memories like these that make all the stress of studying worth it. In the next few minutes together, I hope you will see a way that the Lord wants to use you specifically to accomplish His will and His goals. I hope you see a life of hope and meaning upon stepping into this next season of life. We are all called to develop connections with others, to grow in our faith, to love God, and to love others, because this is your purpose. My name is Cassidy Alexander, and I'm so thrilled to be the one to speak with you today, because I am passionate about GCU being the best university in the world. What kind of, yeah, let's go to him. <laughs> What kind of school has a thriving, welcoming, exuberant community like ours with sunny days all year round? I feel incredibly blessed to be here to speak with you today because I know there are many students deserving of the position I'm in. And I know I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for the guidance and support of people like Robert Vera, Kevin Youngblood, my parents Amy and Doug, and my sweet, patient fiance, Ezekiel Reed. Emphasis on patient. At GCU, I've had the opportunity to help choreograph for this past year's lip sync competition. Shout out to Six Beats Apart. 
for the Mr. GCU opening dance, been on the finance team for TEDx GCU, been a part of clubs like Women in Business and Stellar, and have gotten to present in front of investors with Canyon Angels. All of these experiences have allowed me to connect with students and grow in my professional experience in a safe learning environment. Through Camp Lope, worship nights, and studying, which is code for laughing for three hours with your computer open on the third floor of the library, I've grown strong connections and deep bonds with a close group of friends that have helped me through some of my toughest times and laughed with me in the best times. One of the best opportunities and places I've built strong connections at is Canyon Ventures, GCU's innovation center located on campus. I work for a startup there called ZoroSign, where I've gained experience in sales, support, operations, and just overall professional development. After graduating, I'll have the chance to go full-time with ZoroSign, and I'll get to do mission work abroad in Zambia, Africa, where we'll be sharing the gospel with unreached people groups in remote villages. As soon-to-be graduates, yeah, Zambia. <laughs> As soon-to-be graduates, one of the biggest things we talk about is that a lot of us don't entirely know what we're doing. Um, some of us do, and that's great. That's a blessing from God. But I know for myself, I'm entirely dependent on God every day for wisdom and guidance, because I know I'll never have it fully figured out. In discerning our way forward, we can rest in the Lord and trust in His faithfulness as we take our next steps in obedience and faith. In finding what that looks like for you individually, let's look to the wise words of theologian Howard Thurman. Don't ask yourself what this world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and go do that. Because what this world needs is more people who have come alive. Yeah. <laughs> Some final thoughts I'd like to leave you with are that vulnerability is the glue that connects us to one another. Don't worry about a job title or chase a salary. Share the gospel and make your life about making him known. Yeah, seek the Lord and you will find him. And with him, everything else. And your purpose, my friends, in case you were wondering, is to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Cassidy. Good morning, graduates and guests. As Dean for the College of Nursing and Healthcare Professions, <laughs> yes, I want to recognize and ask our Bachelor of Science in Nursing candidates to please stand. Congratulations on the completion of a significant milestone marking your beginning into the most trusted profession in our country. In just a few moments, you will have the opportunity to participate in a long-standing and prestigious honor of reciting the International Nightingale Pledge, which articulates the considerable responsibilities of a nurse. The pledge is printed out on a frameable insert within your program and will also be available on the screen to my left. Please take a moment now to locate this information. Before we recite the pledge, I want to share another long-standing tradition called pinning, where graduates are given a pin denoting the school from which they graduated. Pinning is a symbolic way to embrace nursing graduates into the profession and has existed since the 1860s when Florence Nightingale was honored with the Red Cross pin of St. George for her efforts to care for injured men during war. In turn, Florence presented a similar medal of excellence to her nursing trainees, and by 1916, the tradition of pinning was established. Candidates, when it is time for, your, for you to approach the stage, you will be greeted by a faculty member who will place a purple ribbon around your neck 
to display your GCU nursing pin, symbolizing your own Medal of Excellence. We welcome you to the nursing profession and celebrate with you the journey that lies ahead. At this time, please look to the screen or to your insert and proudly recite the International Nightingale Pledge with me. In full knowledge of the obligation I am undertaking, I promise to take care of the sick with all the skill and understanding I possess without regard to race, creed, color, politics, or social status, sparing no effort to conserve life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will respect at all times the dignity and religious beliefs of the patients entrusted in my care, holding in confidence all personal information entrusted to me and refraining from any action which might endanger life or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge and skill at the highest level and give loyal support and cooperation to all members of the health team. I will do my utmost to honor the International Code of Ethics applied to nursing and to uphold the integrity of the nurse. Thank you, nursing graduates. You may be seated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce your student body president, Darian Padilla. Friends, family, faculty, and staff, would you please join me as we pray for the graduating class of 2022. Lord, we come before you today with thanks and praise for this joyous day and all the celebrations that come with it. Lord, we are grateful for all the opportunities you have provided for us during our time here at GCU. Opportunities to connect, to grow, to learn, and to thrive. Lord, I pray for your favor over these individuals graduating today. I pray they feel your presence in all their future endeavors, whatever they may be. I pray that they know you and feel your presence in their daily walk. I pray they take the skills and knowledge that they have gained here at GCU and use it in their career paths. I pray that they seek the opportunities to spread the good news of the gospel in our secular world. Lastly, Father God, we thank you for this amazing place that you've blessed us so greatly with. We praise you for the leadership, faculty, and staff you've brought here and the ways they've poured into us both in and outside of the classroom. We thank you for the friendships, relationships, and family that have been built here. I pray you continue to bless this university and its pursuits as it continues to serve you, this city, this country, and this world. Lord, help us to never stop serving you and seeking after you. We love you, Lord, and we look forward to all the things that you have in store for us. It's in your son's mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Darian. Graduates and guests, I would like to recognize our faculty who have worked alongside graduates to help them reach their goal. We believe this is the most dedicated faculty in the country. I ask our faculty to please stand and let's give them a huge thank you. Now, I would like to present our graduate candidates by college. Please stay standing when called. Will all candidates from the College of Theology please stand? Will all candidates from the College of Arts and Media please stand? Will all candidates from the College of Education please stand? Will all candidates from the College of Nursing and Healthcare Professionals please stand? Will all candidates from the Co Colangelo College of Business please stand?
Will all candidates from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences please stand? And will all candidates from the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology please stand? These candidates have completed all requirements for their degree. Therefore, upon the recommendation of the faculty and with the approval of our Board of Trustees, it is my distinct privilege to present them as worthy candidates for the conferring of degrees. You may be seated. With the assistance of the college dean, graduates, we ask you to accept our congratulations. Family, friends, and faculty, please help us applaud their achievement as they walk across the stage and accept their diploma. Introducing our graduates from the College of Theology. Emily Stoll. Ashley Myers. Edwin A. Lopez. Courage Forsyth. Tim Hessman. Nolan Crawley. Corbin Figueroa. Introducing our graduates from the College of Arts and Media. Brendan Sorensen. Asia Rashid. Danielle Parker. Sarah Jordan. Madeline Garcia. John Bolton. Sterling Hawkins. Bukhari King. Ricardo Casares Valenzuela. Elijah Samuel Figueroa. Emily Valenzuela. Janessa Hill. Riley Hogan. Destiny McGee. Nayeli Velasquez. Megan Neese. Nicole Olson. Kaylin Norris. Samuel Flores. Introducing our graduates from the College of Education. Elizabeth Morin. Madison Fast. Paige Walker. Anna Tauscher. Juliette Medina. Haley Hunter. Vanessa Romo Gress. Caitlin Haverson. Gillian Lane. Madison Aubrey. Joshua Greer. Vanessa Moreno Garcia. Esmeralda Lejos. Isabel Hands. Lily Penn. Rebecca Davies. Farah Fisher. Allison Lefevre. Tori Baima. Jacob Nunson. Marissa Jacobson. McKenna M. Smith. Kuhai Bustillos. Madison Norian. Jared Castle. Marisa Shinokorian. Megan Cote. Karen Agayu Valdez. Introducing our graduates from the College of Nurse and Healthcare Professions. Delani Auer. Kayla Souza. Amanda Luo. Megan Taveras. Joseph Parker. Kristen Omas. John Gerald Estabillo. Cassandra Garcia. Ashley Kay. Daniela Ramos Valenzuela. Abigail Ellison. Brooke Timken. Bethany Baisiadra. Brooke Windy, Sarah Neminskim. Claudine Benjamin. Esther Hume. Isabel Cody. Jordan Worth. Caitlin Taylor Corbett. Alexis, Alexis Orozco. Grace Rich. Elizabeth Adai. Emily Yopis. Elena Lopez. Hannah Clark. Jolie Austin. Lauren Patet. Zoe Brannon. Lindsay Allen. Jaden Hyder. Jacqueline Sundriel. Grace Roos. Anna Goodall. Holland Gruber. Alyssa Mankey. Emerson Dobbins. 
Jessica Germanis. Peyton Main. Angelica Placencia. Hallelujah Faulkner. Charlize Schostall. Eric Sau. Sloan Reynolds. Nicole Delos Reyes. Ira Galera. Alma Jean Tamano. Brittany Sloan. Lorena Sanchez. Umaosa Sibomana. Paige Enberg. Kaylin Bomer. Annabelle Mendoza. McKenna Ditko. Preston Tassari. Ashlyn McCall. Ethanalela Ufomefo. Francisco Fernandez. Jordan Weary. Sarah Oropeso. Madeline Mathis. Junior Mendez Hernandez. Jessica Chandra. Sina Pele. Alexandra Romana. Leslie Arroyo Rivera. Giselle Vitas. Andrew Ortega. Divine McKendy. Introducing our graduates from the college, the Colangelo College of Business. Natalie Payne. Alan Beckman. Jackson Cumberland. Terry Thompson. Jared Rydall. Jared Crawford Acredolo. Charity Gilbert. Michaela Crawford. Caitlin Nguyen. Catherine Regardi. Elijah Bethard. Jadeen Lamouli. Caleb Fine. Ben Humphreys. Rachel King. Stephen Lee. Peyton Sheen. Taryn Dudley. Faith Helgeson. Brody Briscoe. Nolan Hines. Patrick Faluna. Hannah Chazen. Taylor Hedrick. Francisco Garcia. Jenna Mafna Serrano. Michaela Anderson. Tatum Burchett. Brianna Kresnowski. Tahani Barrett. Alyssa Leahy. Mariano Hernandez. Anya Morrison. Amy and Jennifer Urell Cindy Nugison. Irma Banzi. Sophia Crook. Cassidy Alexander. Lawrence Spears. Kevin Dyra. Frank Garonsky. Joseph Keller. Catherine Rollman. Vanessa Atawia. Elena Bodeger. Reagan Howie. Emma Harmerlink. Jacob Garcia. Jared Wright. Lily Andrego. Kanan De Jesus. Rachel Lee. Yuri Francisco Pascasia. Andrew Slack. Corinthia Reyes. Tyler Stowell. Jeff Pope. Jordan Oroski. Joshua Yanis. Introducing our graduates from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Kaya Russell. Sabella Daco. Brianna Refshaw. Mia Porter. Alex Rice. Sierra Colner. Sienna Cavazos. Ashlyn Johnson Coates. Christina Maxwell. Monica Day. Glory Jezik. McKenna Price. Monique Apodaca Wesley. Isabella A. Miller. Anjoli Howard. Ballerita Haiti Rodriguez Duarte. Isabella John. Ariana Malone. Beau Boucher. Madrichas Mendez. Chloe Pearson. Caitlin Dewey. David Thiessen. Riley O'Mara. Caitlin Hurd. Leah Dressbach. Aaron Preet. Nadia Dubo. Amanda Morrison. Kaylee Vang. Kennedy Short. Macy Barras. Teen Tran. 
Kayla Nailing. Tyler Hall. Aaliyah Burke. Sierra Alkiri. Claire Falster. Sydney Fouts Hyatt. Rihanna Digg. Tatiana Freeland. Bethany Malum. Josh Parra. Julio Valencia. Nicole Doty. Sayla Turner. Corin Schultz. Garrett Berens. Kristen Pullman. Hannah Farah. Haley Varvel. Skylar Brill. Bradley Polancic. Mia Aranda. Aubrey Cady. Haley Richardson. Stephanie Gonzalez. Lydia Corrigan. Kelsey Bills. Alexander Jones. Porkinock Milmis. Max Carmona. Alyssa Beto. Cassandra Morrison. Angelica Hassan. Bruce Butler II. Kayla Hurtado. Grace Charles. Hazel Rebecca Martin. Natalie Cervantes. Jasmine Lozano. David Ramirez. Ananda Leanne Johnson. Parker Allhands. Jocelyn Hawk. Genesis Garcia. Michaela Shaver. Cynthia Jaya Kumar. Chloe Rodriguez. Mason McMahon. Ava Augustus. Kiera Blackman. Karen Guerrero. Bijan Winford. Introducing our graduates from the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Derek Lundy. Gabriel Martinez. Timothy Shane. Sonia Kumar. Alyssa Walls. Erica Kumar. Nicholas Lee. Haley Husbands. Natalie Noriega. Bailey Johnson. Jordan Trimbath. Janaya Brown. Daisy Altamirano. Madison Smith. Gordon Rianda. James Koch. Angel Westbrook. Ju Vander Plove. Carrick Woodford. Mark Stephen Missling. Blake Bennett. Brock Bryant. Angela Losa. Brody Hicks. Grace Heisler. Elon Evrat. Jocelyn Wedlake. Jacob Mondragon. Emma Scherer. Justin Emma Life. Christian Diaz. Matthew Abrahamson. Favor Odubawoma. Brian Barnes. Cassidy Marlowe. Benjamin Leonard. Haley Hunt. Jonathan Junker. Anish Kumar Sharma. Isaac Amasula. Jonathan Aguirre. Noah Fox. Anna Ramirez. Jesse Nava. Kennedy Garman. Cole King. Jeremy Cockburn. Dominic Kaufman. Liliana Bennett. Courtney Ritchie. Ali Simon. Akila Williams. Madison Monticelli. Joey Lopez. Sean Stouffer. Jaden Floyd. Stephanie Descal. Andrew Lopez. Jordan Ballesteros. Daniel Armas. Sylvanas Eddy. Aaron Walker. Thomas Nelson. Savannah Gallegos. Jordan Oliver. Alyssa Brown Otero. Trey Simpson. Hannah Alcaron. Ian Cleveland. Jasmine Ramirez. Alyssa Martinez. Nora Tuma. Miriam Morales. Lillian Barwi. Graciana Canada. Mark Palato. Della Gastelum. Humberto Reina Viegas. Jared Stevens. Lisa Manning. Malia Stewart. Michaela Castro. 
Fernando Lopez. Tahani Reyes Roman. Brooke Chaitel. Jenny Nguyen. Jeffrey Widges. Graduates, please turn your attention to the video board for a message from our alumni. Hello, graduates from the Office of Alumni Relations, and congratulations on your tremendous achievements. We could not be more excited to celebrate alongside of you during this special moment that has been long in the making, to say the least. Our team wanted to take some time to make a special video for this specific ceremony saying thank you for each and every one of you and the ways that you inspired us over the course of this past season and during the pandemic. Whether it was your dedication, your service, your commitment to excellence in the classroom, or your strong representation of the values that this community prioritizes. Values like ingenuity, generosity, and equal opportunity for all. Our office cannot wait to serve and support you. You are joining an alumni family of over 200,000 GCU graduates around the world that are excited to welcome you to our programs, resources, and benefits in the near future. A great way to get started is by checking out some of the benefits that are available to you by visiting our alumni section of the commencement program. You are also going to be able to see all of the events that our team is hosting over the course of this next year, both in and out of state. You and your friends are more than welcome to participate in each and every one of them that are on our schedule, and we look forward to seeing you there. For all of the ways that you served and supported our community, GCU cannot wait to serve and support you for years to come. You are elope for life. Congratulations. We will see you soon. Graduates, will you please stand? Wait for it. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Grand Canyon University and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I confer upon each and every one of you the appropriate bachelor's degree and welcome you to the company of scholars with all of its rights, honors, privileges, and obligations. Take your tassel. Move it to the left side of the cap. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> Family, friends, faculty, please rise and give me a standing ovation. They did it. You did it. It's done. Now, our university pastor, Dr. Tim Griffin, will lead us in benediction before our final celebration begins. Please join me in prayer. God, thank you for these graduates. Thank you for their family and friends who have supported them to be here today. We pray your richest blessings on them as they go out into the world to make a difference. We ask all this in Jesus' name, and for his sake we pray. Amen. Graduates, as part of our recessional, we now ask you to follow our platform guests, administration, faculty, with the help of our commencement staff. Family and friends, please remain seated until the recessional is completed. Then you can meet your graduate outside on the lawn in front of the arena. GCU Class of 2022, congratulations. Whoa, oh.